You're so calm and collected that it's driving people nuts. They can't get under your skin, can't provoke a reaction from you, and it's frustrating them to no end. They don't like that you're focused on your own life, keeping to yourself and moving forward without letting anyone's opinions shake you. It bothers them that you march to your own rhythm and refuse to let anyone disturb your peace. No one can push you into negativity or steer you off track. You're simply doing your own thing, following your own path, and this self-assured attitude irritates them. They try to disrupt you, hoping for some kind of reaction, but it never comes, and that bothers them deeply. They feel uneasy because they crave a reaction, a hint that they can control your emotions, even just a little. You might notice people trying to provoke you. They might want to make you upset, pull you into conflict, or see if you'll respond to their taunts. But no matter what they do, you stay centered, sticking to your own goals and not letting them drag you down. This bothers them even more. The sight of you calmly moving forward, unbothered and unaffected, leaves them frustrated. You're focused, driven and deeply committed to your own purpose, and you don't let anyone distract you from it. When you walk into a room, people who try to get a rise out of you are left disappointed. You stand tall, your confidence unshaken, giving them no attention. This lack of response only highlights your inner strength, showing that you won't be easily swayed. You're on your own journey, sticking to your own values and goals, and that calm self-assurance speaks volumes. It shows that no one can derail you. This doesn't sit well with them at all. Certain people need a reaction from you. They want to see you riled up, angry, or acting out. They crave that reaction because deep down, they're unsettled, and they want you to feel the same way. This urge to make others share in their unhappiness is real. It's a projection of their own inner chaos onto others. You've likely seen this pattern often, sometimes dealing repeatedly with the same difficult person. Their misery runs so deep that they constantly try to pull you into it, hoping you'll share their burden of negativity. But you choose not to let that affect you. You go through life with a mindset that you won't allow their attitude to disturb your peace. It's a decision you make to remain calm and stay grounded, no matter how hard they push. This requires a conscious effort, an active reminder not to let their negativity get to you, especially with those persistent individuals who try again and again to stir things up. You've been in situations where you've had to pause and remind yourself that you know what's happening. You see their attempts to bait you, to push your buttons, to rope you into some drama they're trying to create, and each time you decide to stay unaffected. They may keep testing, keep poking, but you don't take the bait because you recognize their game for what it is, a ploy to drag you down to their level. You know you don't want to engage in drama, so you choose to walk away from it. You stay focused on your own path and don't let their actions pull you off track. This choice keeps you steady, and over time, it's become your way of holding on to your peace, no matter how hard they try to break it. You have to stay calm and focused on your goals, clear on where you're headed, the people who try to pull you down aren't on the same path as you. They're not heading anywhere good. Remind yourself of that regularly because you know you're moving forward with purpose. It's essential to keep reminding yourself of your direction and who you are, especially when others try to throw you off track. Staying unbothered frustrates them, even more so when they realize nothing they do can shake you. They see you're steady, untouchable, and it drives them mad. I've watched some of these people escalate their behavior, desperate to get a reaction. It's like they're fueled by jealousy, anger, or envy. They don't want to keep these feelings inside or work on improving themselves, so they turn that negativity outward, targeting those they feel envious of or inferior to. Handling this can feel like a nightmare, and that's why it's crucial to have a clear plan. Staying focused on your own progress keeps you from getting caught up in their drama. They might up the pressure, but remaining grounded in your goals keeps you out of their reach. You stay centered on what you're building, on your own aspirations, and that calm confidence unsettles them. Some people wake up each day just looking for ways to throw others off balance. But when you hold on to your focus and refuse to let them interfere, it becomes their frustration, not yours. You're in control of your journey, not allowing others to sway you, and that independence is what truly keeps you moving forward. In the end, your focus on your own path not only keeps you peaceful, but it shows others that you won't be derailed no matter what. Some people just want to get a rise out of you. 
They might call your name with attitude, raise their voice, or even throw insults your way, all with the aim of shaking your confidence and breaking your spirit. Their goal is to make you feel small, to throw you off balance. But these tricks don't work on someone like you. Maybe once, in the past, it was easy to get under your skin. I know I used to be the same way, letting people bother me more than I should have. Now, I choose to stay focused. When I focus on what truly matters to me, the noise around me fades. I see their attempts clearly, but they don't have the same impact anymore. They no longer reach me. I feel wrapped in a protective light, strengthened by faith, which gives me the courage to act wisely and to deal with situations calmly as needed. Drama doesn't belong in my life, and it doesn't belong in yours either. When you remain unshaken in these moments, people can't handle it. They get frustrated when you don't react, when you don't give them the satisfaction of a response. By staying calm and not feeding into their negativity, you're choosing to be the bigger person. Their efforts to manipulate or provoke you fall flat, whether it's through emotional games, intimidation, or outright abuse. Holding your ground, refusing to be drawn into unnecessary conflict, that's where your strength lies. Instead of letting others dictate your mood or your path, you keep moving forward on your own terms. Staying unbothered by these distractions shows just how strong you are, and that calm resistance often drives others crazy because they can't control you. In the end, staying focused on your own journey and refusing to engage with negativity is what keeps you free and grounded. Are you staying unbothered? Share your experience. When you remain calm and focused, it can truly drive some people wild. They don't like that you're independent, that you aren't under their influence. They feel uncomfortable because your focus isn't on them as they'd prefer. Instead, you're channeling your energy toward your own goals, and that unsettles them. Some of these people want to live through you, craving your attention to validate themselves. They desire your focus on them, but you've chosen a different path. You're dedicated to your journey and staying unbothered. Being unbothered doesn't mean you're unaware. It means you recognize their tactics, you see what they're trying to do, but you're not taking the bait. You're not investing energy in drama or distractions. By staying focused, you're stepping out of their way and staying unapproachable to those who won't get the hint. This detachment drives them mad because they can't control or sway you. It becomes clear that no matter how hard they try, they can't affect you. They can't slow you down, can't block your progress, can't stop you from moving forward. Ironically, in all their efforts to distract you, they're only slowing themselves down. Your unbothered state highlights their own struggle. They get frustrated watching you stay calm and composed while they're still stuck trying to grab your attention. It's as if they're tripping over themselves, desperate for any reaction from you, yet you keep moving, untouched. By remaining unbothered, you're showing strength and focus, proving that their actions have no hold on you. You're free to keep pursuing your own path and their inability to distract you speaks volumes about your strength and their insecurities. In the end, staying unbothered keeps you on track while showing others that they can't control where you direct your attention. You're not giving in to their games, you're steering clear of the drama, and by doing so, you've broken free. This has them spiraling because you're no longer part of their negative cycle. If you're noticing this in your own life, feel free to share your thoughts below. Thank you all for being here and tuning into this video. Thank you once again for all the positivity, optimism and encouragement you bring.